All right, four geo systems here. One is not working. The problem is I don't know which one. It's one of the upstairs ones. So this one, okay, so the pumps are running on this one but I have no compressor. No pump operation, no pump operation. We have pump operation on this one too. Okay, let's get them opened up. Compressor's working. It sounds like hell, but it is working. It's on. Oh, see, see this one's working. Okay. Man, that compressor sounds really bad. But it is working. Oh, okay. Move down the bench. goes upstairs to warm them up. Extremely warm. through the, the contactor. So the next thing we gotta do is check that capacitor. It looks like a newer one. I gotta find the breaker. There's no surface disconnect here. Well, we're gonna try compressor four. It's a beautiful basement here. I love this. It's nice and cool down here. And it's 95 degrees outside. All right, that's it. Got this meter job to it to me so it'll connect to measure quick. Dead cat. Bummer. I'll tell you what, man. These jarred caps, they do not last long at all. It's opened up. Let's try to get a big off. This one's got a 2020 serial number, but or a date code on it. But, you know, sometimes you can carry capacitor around the truck for a while.
Alright. And you guys see it's, it's bubbled up. It's a 45. And that is the cap it's supposed to take. Here I go, putting a jar back. See, jar is made by Mars, though. You guys see that on there? Jarred by Mars. So. <clears throat> see how much smaller that is now? Same specs. Jarred's making them smaller. like a huge geo fan and i don't work on a whole ton of them but look at this guys it is almost 100 degrees outside and this thing is purring right along any water cooled condenser man they just run good it cools that refrigerant nice and good we have a 51 degree suction 11 degrees of self cooling 293 head pressure look at our liquid line temperature 82 degrees 83 degrees that's crazy. You just can't really beat a, a good geothermal system in the middle of summer. And it's the same thing in the winter. It's all the heat you want. Some of them aren't even installed with emergency heat because you get so much heat with it and uh, um, just running normally. Great, I mean, like I said, not a not a huge geo guy, but the little I do work on, they I'm really impressed by them. And these two here are set up to heat his domestic hot water from the the heat rejection it makes so basically it'll heat the water first with the heat rejection and then it will go out into the loops to further cool but all the heat's absorbed into his domestic hot water and then he has a storage tank here in case it's not enough All right, guys. Yeah, you really just can't beat a properly running geo system. So, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Stay tuned tomorrow. I have a review video coming up for Elitex LMG 10W manifold. So that will be dropped tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.